Okay, right, there was only one thing really noteworthy. Um, and it's nothing to do with this. This is a delightful little board to work on. Um, even down to the socket for the IC. I mean, that's a beautiful socket. It's not one of your standard sockets. That's got a, an individual hole for each leg. Um, that's a nice socket. This is nice stuff. It's a nice little headphone jack. And the diode looks absolutely lovely to look at. Maybe I should have put it in the other way around, but it doesn't matter on these, they're not polarized. Uh, yeah, so I'm quite happy. I'm very happy actually uh, with this little kit. Uh, I got this kit off eBay. Uh, I don't know how you pronounce this, but it's advertised as that's where Marconi was doing quite a lot of his uh, international signal uh, sending. Wirelessly, I'm not sure if he's getting all the... Well, good for that, but I'm, I'm pretty sure Taz had something to do with that as well, but... <coughs> uh, yeah. The, this switch, maybe I would have preferred something a bit bigger just a bit easier uh, for the day and night switch it's very very small I might end up swapping that out with a bigger switch I'm sure I've got some bigger switches um, but I'm sure this is probably a better quality than the switches I've got because the ones I've got come from China and go to the noteworthy part and that's about this this is a um, 0.3 soldering uh, solder it comes from China and it is horrible. I don't know if it's just this particular one that there's something wrong with it, um, but it, I think it wants more temperature. And I don't want to have to turn my soldering iron up to stupid degrees, uh, keep burning out my tips just because of this. I've got two rolls of this and I'm not happy. I actually think there's something wrong with it because I've had a roll of this before and I, I was, as far as I can remember, I liked it. Um, Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm not really impressed with that at all. I don't think that's the same brand as what I had. This thing says it's uh, it's K O O C U, or whatever that says. Koku, 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 Kuka. Ah, whatever. But yeah, not impressed with that at all. Got two rolls of it. Not impressed. Switched back to my trusty. I don't know what the brand is for this, but I will reorder myself some of this. This is 0.5 or 0.4, um, but it's great. Nice low temperature soldering, that's what I like. Keep it, you know, 325 or slightly below. It's good, good low temperature soldering. So what we got here, we got a couple of these uh, jumper uh, jumpers here. Now, I think one of them is gonna be to put it straight on for just the crystal and the choosing of the bands so i'm just going to put it on band two just for the second just to put this jumper somewhere yeah nice little jumper it's got a tag on it so you can easily put it on and take it off a little bit harder to lose uh, yeah yeah pretty good i've not put the legs on just yet and there is something else here that i'm not quite sure <gasps> hey joe can they actually give you like a little turner for that oh lovely so i wondered to myself what i was going to do about that but that's great, so you got a little little tuny bit there. And of course we got this bait light knob uh, that wants to go on, but it's got a nice screw in the bottom. It's not just one of these push-on jobs, uh, cheapy, it's a nice one. eBay, £20. Now, if we take into account, let's say, a, a few pounds for the tuner, we got a pound for the diode if it's a nice one, we got like a pound for this. Uh, you know, I think... Uh, yeah, we're, we're probably giving the, the person who sold this to me uh, £10 and with that they've got to post it to me as well and they got it damn quick. Thursday I think I ordered it, today it's Monday um, and so that, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. Sold is up lovely, the board's nice, it's a good, good stiff board, good quality, I like it. Yeah, I like it. And uh, 
And yeah, we're going to get to put this on in a second. And then give it a bit of a test. Just checking that my uh, machine that I'm putting together is done as well, pretty much. Let's do these, uh, these updates. Of course, this doesn't have an antenna. I've got to, uh, I'll connect it up to my uh, radiator first and just see what that's like. I'll put a little bit of wire sticking out, uh, maybe go onto a coil or something. And we'll see what that's like. Uh, we've got this uh, VCC in ground and ground. Uh, so I've got to read up on what does what on these things because you can also attach a um, uh, an amplifier to it. There is a kit you can buy, but as I've built quite a few little mono amplifiers, I'm just going to connect up one of those to it, see what it's like, uh, so we get some uh, a bit of power. Yeah, yeah, quite chuffed, quite happy with that. It's not a bad little kit. Uh, it would just be interesting. You know, because you've got this, uh, this little crystal, this little crystal uh, headphone for a, specifically for a crystal radio. It's quite nice. It doesn't look, you know, too. Uh, it's made in Taiwan. Um, I'm not quite sure what the. The, the, the situation is with if that's Chinese or Japanese these days or not. I don't know, you know. The powers that are keep carving things up the way they do. Uh, yeah. So quite chuffed. Quite chuffed. We'll have to see what it, what it works like. 